for more, I give y'all five and six for the lyrical mix. DNA 50 strips with an African twist. I'm here in the UK because I was invited to give a talk at Parliament for the All Parliamentary Group on Conflict Resolution. And my host invited, uh, Caroline Jane from Amedia, invited me to also participate in a conversation here at London School of Economics and also one tomorrow at King's College Cambridge and I'm meeting with uh, some youth groups as well while I'm here. Okay, so I grew up in a bunch of different places, which I'll explain momentarily. Um, when I was a kid though, my mother used to always sing us this song that wound up being very, very uh, impactful over my life as it, I grew up. I grew up in a bunch of different places and I saw things in my life as a child that were a lot of good and wonderful and positive things, but a couple of things that were quite challenging. And I felt from an early age that like, I didn't think kids should have certain experiences or see certain things. So I wanted to make a change. Now, I was lucky enough that I didn't grow up in like, you know, with genocide and, you know, all kinds of drama. So I could move beyond all of that and really was very, well educated and had a lot of opportunity and I chose to use that opportunity to try to have a positive impact for other people as well. There is a great quote and I'm forgetting if it was by Henry Ford or some one of these captains of industry and it's, a, it's beautiful. He says, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. You know, you are relevant because you believe you're relevant and you made yourself relevant. When someone comes to me and they says they don't feel their relevance, I always talk to them about the fact that change happens. And it happens all the time and there's nothing you can do to stop the fact that the world will change. Each of us is changing with every given moment. The issue is not whether change will come, the issue is what will the change be. And that is entirely up to us. So every single person is not sitting here having to roll a massive boulder up the hill. What's happening is this thing is already in motion. And we just got to nudge it a little this way, nudge it a little that way, to get things going in the direction that we want to. And it doesn't take a lot. It just takes a commitment. And not only that, but if you can find a few other committed folks who want to make the same kind of changes as you do, all of a sudden you've got power. So really, I say to people, if you believe that you can't make a difference, you can't. Because you will ensure yourself that you won't. If you believe that you can or you wish you could, then stand in that and reach out with that. Because you will find others when you expose yourself who see and resonate with you. And you'd be shocked at how many people would want to make change with you. My name is Derek Nanakwesi Abaka Shaw.